do you wake up early in the morning? And when you do, do you wake up with, uh, oh my gosh, another Monday, another Tuesday, another Wednesday, whatever? Are you waking up that way? Or are you waking up early in the morning taking me time? Are you waking up in a happy mood, in a happy vibration, and saying, this is a great day. I am expecting something wonderful to come for me today. I am expecting to have a great day. Are you saying that when you wake up in the morning? And if you're waking up early, which I suggest everyone do, wake up early and take that time for you. And if you are a parent and you're getting kids off to school or you're on whatever, going to work, wake up a little extra early, even if it's only 10 minutes. If you can take that 10 minutes for yourself to just get in tune with your day, with what you want to create, um, what you want to manifest, what you want to have happen or come for you that day, when you do that, and you will find it is easier and more in tune to get what you are feeling is unexpected for you today. So when you do this and you're in that vibration, you know, get up early. Take a few minutes for yourself. Have that as your time. And when you do, you're going to find that more things are going to come easier for you. You're going to manifest easier. You're going to have Oh, you're going to master the art of manifesting what you want. I'm trying to type this. And see, I even got up and I'm still having typing problems. Oh, well, you know what? That's just one of those things that we do, we don't do. It's just one of those things, right? So when you're doing this and you're taking that time, master the art of of being in tune with yourself. Hold on. Tune with you. When you are in tune with yourself, when you're in tune with what it is you want, when you're in tune with what it is you're creating, when you are more in tune with all of these things and you're mastering that art, it is an art skill, so to speak, because not only will you be more in tune with what you want, but maybe you're going to get more in tune with what you don't expect to have happen. Maybe it's a good unexpected thing that's coming. And when you know and you have these feelings and you're right in tune with it and you're able to manifest what you want in your life, don't you think that is worth getting up a little bit early for I mean, really, get up a little earlier, even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes. Take that time for yourself. Take that time to be the you that you need to be and be with yourself. And have you ever asked your subconscious the question? I mean, literally the question of what will it be like when I have fill in the blank? What can I do? now to get blank when you ask your subconscious these open-ended questions your subconscious has no choice but to search for those answers inside of your brain and when you're searching it's searching for those answers you're going to get more opportunities come your way you're going to get more answers for what you actually desire i do this often throughout my day actually as I'm going through and I'm creating and I'm I'm being and I'm having I ask myself these questions you know like um, for example um, this morning I asked myself what can I do to help 100 more people this month to build their business what can I do and I asked myself this question of my subconscious and the more you're in tune with what it is you want to do, the more in tune you're going to be to receiving those answers to those questions. So as I was doing that, and I did that this morning, I was like, 
oh my gosh, I have an answer. I know what I can do. So I immediately got started on what I was doing and I know it's going to pan out and I know it's going to help and I know a lot of people are going to benefit from this. So by asking the question of your subconscious, then you will get the answers. Depending on what you want, everyone wants something different. We don't all want the same thing. Oh, heavens no. That would be no fun if we all wanted the same thing, right? So ask yourself, what do I want? And how can I do this to get this? What else can I do? What will it be like when I have or when this happens for me? Or, you know, open-ended questions like that that your subconscious doesn't see as a question. It only sees it as, I've got to find this answer. I've, I've got to find this answer. And that way, quantum physics kicks in and it's all energy. Because quantum physics shows and produces everything we need. It's all energy. Our thoughts, our bodies, our everything we have around us is energy. And that is from quantum physics. So when you do that and you get in tune with what you want and you add the neurosciences and you add all the scientific hoopla and jumbo jumbo that's in there, you're going to find it's easier for you to get in tune with what you want to manifest. It's easier to get in tune when you wake up first thing in the morning with the unexpected feeling of what's happening for me today. What great unexpected task or treasure or option or whatever it is that you want to think of is happening for me today when you do that first thing in the morning and you carry that vibration with you throughout the day don't you think that something good is going to happen for you today something good sometime throughout your day is going to happen for you Regardless of what you think that might be, it could be something big, it could be something little, it could be the simplest thing that makes you happy. And why not? Why not be in tune with what you want to create in your lifestyle, in your motivation, in whatever you're doing? When you wake up first thing in the morning and you set your day with that tone, if you wake up and you're, you don't want to get up and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to grow. I don't want to move today. I want to just stay in bed all day. Blah, 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 blah. What is holding you back? What is stopping you from being the best you can be? What is holding you back from being that person, being that you? What is holding you back? That's a great question to ask. And I ask that of myself whenever I, if I get up in the morning and I don't want to get up for whatever reason, I ask myself, what is holding me back? What is stopping me? Why am I doing this? This is not me. And I immediately change that frame of mind to, this is a great day. This is a good day. I am doing X, Y, Z today. I am helping X number of people today. And what else am I going to do today? Open that into question of what else am I doing today? My subconscious is immediately going to start looking and seeing what else I need to do that is going to benefit me, that is going to give me what I want to manifest, that is going to help me to grow and to be and to do. Be, do, have. When you are in that frame of mind and you are in tune with what you are desiring to create, what you're desiring to build, and what life you're desiring to have is a huge benefit for you. So it could take years off of you just being in the great frame of mind and being happy. You want to take a look at what you're doing. You want to take a look at what you're not doing. When you do this, and you find your desires are more easily coming. Your desires are manifesting simply and just coming out of nowhere. Don't you think that has a brick 
revelation, I guess you could say, on where your mindset is and what the vibration you're putting out. Like attracts like. So whatever you're putting out there is what you're going to get back. If you're putting out that you're happy, that you're carefree, that no matter what, you are going to land on your feet like a cat. You are going to land on your feet and you are going to be successful no matter what. What do you think is going to happen for you then when you know you're going to land on your feet, when you know that what you're doing Starting first thing in the day and carrying it through the day. Take a few minutes during the day for yourself. Throughout your day. Nothing's going to stop you from taking five or ten minutes to just sit and be calm. Just sit for a few minutes and relax your brain, relax your mind, relax your energy. And let it flow. It gets simpler the more you do it. And you're going to find the easier it is for you to manifest the life you want. There's no reason to live a life that you're not happy with. There's no reason to live a life that you are not content with yourself in. If that's the case, then ask your subconscious. What can I do to make blank, blank, blank? Whatever it is, fill in the blanks. It's up to you what you do. It's up to you how you be. It's up to you how happy you are. It's the way it is. You're, it's up to you. No matter what you do, it's up to you. But wake up early and have something great happen for you today. When you wake up with that mindset, you're going to find the unexpected will come your way. And it will come for you. And I don't mean that badly. I mean that happy. It will come for you to be the best you can be. Okay, so take this to heart, guys, and this is a definite big plus for everybody. Be the best you you can be every day. Start first thing in the morning and be happy, be healthy, be wealthy. Okay, I please ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are getting more and more people, and we are happy to spread the news and spread the message throughout the world. So please subscribe and like and share this video on social because we want to keep this going because the more people know that it's all vibration, it's all about how you feel, how you think, and how you are that will attract it back to you. Be the like that attracts like that you want to have happen, not what you don't want to have happen. Okay, guys, I do have a training for you up here that will help you. And I've had so many people take advantage of these. And I am blessed that I'm able to give these to you guys. So have a super blessed day. And I will talk to you guys later. Whoops. I'm running my computer. <laughs>